These days, there's nothing part-time about helping kids succeed. Parents and teachers have to be all in, pulling together, working together, so that children can reach their potential. Because in the end, it's not just about passing classes. It's about succeeding in life. At college, on the job, as missionaries, in marriage. That's not something parents can do alone, in the fleeting hours after school and before bedtime. But when the help parents need comes from teachers they trust, there's no limit to what children can do. American Heritage School, parents and teachers, all together now. There's a school in Utah where children are learning what the American founders believed, that real liberty is a gift from God. At the new Salt Lake City campus of American Heritage School, our rigorous, time-tested academic curriculum includes foundational subjects taught within the context of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. So when parents teach their children about remembering Him always, their children are free to follow Him wherever they are, even at school. American Heritage. Remember Him. Always. She's discovering things of the heart while learning the history of this nation. And she's doing it all here, where pioneer ancestors settled, where grandparents were married, where truth has touched hearts for generations. The new Salt Lake campus of American Heritage School, education for the heart, in the heart of it all. As a student at American Heritage, he's made promises to himself. What he will wear, how he will treat others, what doing his best will mean every day. In class, he's given opportunities to think about words like charity, integrity, honesty, and humility. Not just what they mean in a general sense, but what they mean for him. In discussions and interactions with teachers and peers, he's learning that Jesus Christ is the standard for his own character and the model of every virtue he wants to possess. And when he's not quite the person he wants to be, he's discovering that through Christ, he has the power to be different, to change and to grow. At American Heritage, the law of the harvest is not just a concept to be learned, but a way to live. And day by day, He's planting seeds for the boy he is now and the man he will become. A scholar goes deep. The goal is not just learning what the teacher expects of her, it's seeking to understand for herself. That's why American Heritage engages children and youth in a learning model that awakens natural curiosity and supports self-motivated discovery. Through experiential learning projects, written portfolios, advanced placement classes, a personal thesis she develops herself over months. She's supported in taking responsibility for her own education, 
constantly researching and reasoning, discerning between truth and error. Then, by making analogies and creating parables, she relates what she learns in the classroom to the real world of her life and creates a powerful record that she will revisit again and again. Day by day, her hunger to learn drives her forward. Her eagerness to share turns her outward, and the light of the restored gospel lifts her sights toward heaven. Just wait for what she'll teach you at dinner tonight. At American Heritage, every day is a laboratory for liberty. In and out of the classroom, students learn to act for themselves instead of being acted upon. And as they do, their liberty grows. When a student chooses to practice the cello, which no teacher can make him do, he's free to play in the orchestra. Every good choice increases opportunities, including the liberty to govern oneself and enjoy the trust of parents and teachers. That principle is especially clear in the story of this nation. Under the inspiration of God, America's founders wrote a constitution that secured the right for citizens to govern themselves, which means that learning about the founders' lives and the constitution they wrote is more than simple patriotism. It's powerful preparation for students to act for themselves, to make a difference at home, at school, in the community, and the world. And that is the liberty they want most of all. Over 50 years ago, American Heritage School opened its doors in a small, vacated chapel in Pleasant Grove, Utah, welcoming its first class of just 85 students. But the modesty of that beginning did not constrain the grandeur of the vision. Today, the school occupies a 40-acre K-12 campus in nearby American Fork, Utah, and will soon open a new campus in downtown Salt Lake City. But the founders of the school envisioned even more. So in 1970, when the school was incorporated, it was incorporated as American Heritage Schools, plural, with an S. When the school started, and several times Dad would talk to me, and he would talk about his kind of vision for what he thought the, the school would be. And it wasn't just to have everybody come to one school, but that the schools would go out to the families. Gaylord Swim, 30 years later in 2002, in his dedicatory address for the American Fork Campus, said that this would become a gathering place for people who would come in the finest tradition of Christian scholarship. This school and its outreach program, the Family Education and Resource Center, will become a catalyst for research, for writing, for publishing, for thinking, teaching, training. It is bigger than all of us, and we need to step up to the challenge. Our mission is the roots of the tree, and Christ is the taproot. The trunk is our American Fork campus. And now, with our Salt Lake campus to open this fall, that trunk gives strength and fiber to the branches which are reaching out across the earth. From a few hundred students in Utah to thousands throughout the world, the seed planted half a century ago is growing even now for such a time as this. From that first seedling, American Heritage has been reaching toward home-centered education. If we did anything right, we, we listened, and um, our families became an extension of our development, and they 
they've always been the drivers of the decisions that we make and how we do things, what we build and why we build them. In 2010, American Heritage launched the Family School, a homeschool curriculum with a unique approach in the subjects of history, geography, science, music, art, and literature. We call it family style. We just taught it to all the kids at the same time. In the mornings, we were um, doing math and language arts with our own individual kids. But in the afternoons, we would get together and we would share these subjects. For over a decade, gifted parents and qualified educators have worked together to develop a robust curriculum that addresses the challenges of primary and secondary education today. The big problem is that when parents get to that point with their children where they, they're concerned about what's going on, they're concerned about how they're learning, what they're learning, the environment in which they're learning, the problem is they look around them for, a, for an alternative. They look for a solution and they, they find a mountain for mom. Homeschool takes a lot of time and it's daunting. So much so that they can't take that step, even if they feel inspired to do that. Or they'll look at online school, which is something that is less requiring for the mom. But at some point in that online school experience, the student says, I just want to go back to school with my friends. I'm lonely and I want more of this connection. I want more social experience. So then the other alternative, the only other alternative right now is private school. And that's money that most families don't have. And so we're left with millions of students and millions of families around the world who who are desperate for a solution, but don't have one. That's what American Heritage is bringing to, to the world. It's a solution, a solution that, that will work and that can work. It's a solution grounded in one simple, powerful principle, connection. Commitment to this principle will become apparent in late 2022 with the launch of a new online learning platform called Lift Ed. Students using the platform will be grouped by age with others who are using LiftEd in their area. Every morning, these student groups log in, happy to be with each other, eager for the moment when the lesson for that day goes live. The first thing that happens is they get into this meeting room and their cameras are on and all the other students' cameras are on and they're immediately connected and they realize, I'm not alone in this, in this independent study uh, experience that I'm having. My, my friends are there, other students and classmates are there, and, um, and now we're, we're going together in this learning experience. The student's shared experience is framed as a journey and organized on a path. And the first stop on the path is the review game, and they log onto the review game and they see each other for a few minutes and they can chat and talk about what they're excited about for the day. From there, it's on to an expertly crafted lesson delivered on video. The student begins to watch a video with the teacher and the teacher poses a question and the student has the opportunity to respond to this question by recording a video of themselves. Then they submit that video for other study group members to view. Who better to watch that and to respond and to connect with the student than their fellow classmates? The entire independent learning experience isn't so independent after all. Uh, they go throughout the entire experience on this path of learning, this journey with other students. They can see where other students are. From the very minute they get into that lesson that day to the, to the minute that they're done with it, they're working on projects together, they're collaborating, they're playing games together, and uh, they're exploring together. After the interactive video lesson, there's a fun, engaging, real-time discussion with a live teacher or learning coach. Then it's awesome because we get to dive into something a little bit deeper, right? We'll get to ask some questions, some review questions, see what it is that they liked, what it is they learned, what it is they understood, and most importantly, what it is they still wanna know. And that's a question I often like to ask is, what else are you curious about? And they'll, they'll start to think for a second and you start to see those cogs turning. And they're like, oh, well, I wanna know about this. I wanna know about what happened before that. And then all of a sudden there's this interaction and there's this, there's this synergy that starts to happen as we're coming together and we're connecting and we're filling in gaps that each other couldn't have filled in on our, on our own. One of the things that I really enjoy uh, from the American Heritage Worldwide Program is that it allows my children an opportunity to be heard, to listen to others, to, 
speak and to explore subjects because it helps it sink in, it makes it relevant to them. And even that's not the end of the day's adventures. Importantly, this learning experience will not be the same for every, for every child. They'll have many opportunities on this learning path to go exploring. Optional material will be presented to them uh, to go deeper as time as is available and as their interest takes them. Online learning happens Monday through Thursday, leaving Friday available for in-person activities. Fridays are a great day to get together because there are no scheduled classes on Fridays. Fridays become the day where families can connect with other families. Children can connect with other children and that families can get together and support each other. Using simple calendaring and communication tools, parents are able to connect with nearby students and families for educational outings to libraries, museums, the zoo, local workplaces, or even service organizations. It's all coming together. Uh, and in some really exciting ways. What we launched this fall uh, with Lift Ed will be something that lifts students, it will lift parents, it will lift, uh, it will lift families. But perhaps more importantly, it will lift groups of families coming together to support one another in, uh, in meaningful ways. The Lift Ed platform is being developed by a team of international award-winning engineers and designers. Following leadership stints at Microsoft, Google, Twitter, and other major tech companies, this team has already blazed trails in creating platforms like Ancestry.com and other learning software systems. But the American Heritage Platform is not just another learning management system. So LMSs, or learning management systems, are what we're traditionally used to. They're pretty limited in the way that we can interact. I think uh, during the COVID pandemic, we became all too familiar with that. And that's not what we're building here. This is a learning experience platform. We have real-time interaction where uh, we're talking to each other face-to-face, uh, -face. well, through a screen, we're talking to each other face-to-face, -face, and we're also finding ways to get together. And, and so it's taking technology and experience uh, and traditional experience and merging it together in pretty powerful ways. The developers know that parents today are concerned about the influence of digital devices on children. So a major objective in both the architecture and design of the new platform is keeping children safe and connected to the people who love and watch over them. I, I love, for example, that I have my kids in my pocket with me right now. You know, I, I love, I feel connected to them even when I'm not physically with them. Technology allows us to grow closer and to strengthen our relationships and to see life through each other's eyes and improve our relationships and understanding and empathy and all of those kinds of things. Even in the online environment, students can establish these kinds of relationships not only with family members, but with teachers. The video lessons in Lift Ed are much more than just a digital replica of a physical classroom. I think unlike the traditional classroom, where a kid might be in the back of the class watching the teacher in the front five rows ahead. Having a camera right there, right next to the teacher is a lot more intimate. It's a lot more engaging. New production studios have been completed to capture these kinds of interactions. And teachers are being prepared for this unique, highly personal teaching and learning. It's more than just the lessons, how they're written and how they're performed, but to literally the production value, how they're lit, how the cameras move. Um, I've never seen this before in education, and what we're doing here is truly innovative. One of the most important and unique contributions of American Heritage Worldwide is that the student is able to invest in the world of the teacher, and similarly, the teacher can invest in the world of the student. This happens by the camera following the teacher around and getting up close and personal with them. We've found teachers that don't lecture children. They engage yes. them, they connect with them. They have a written outline that they need to follow, but they actually have opportunities in that outline where they can add in their own stories from their own life experiences. And they have a deep understanding that on the opposite end of that camera is your child watching this video lesson. That's who they're connecting with. Not a camera, not with us behind the camera, but with your child. Teachers on the new platform reflect the diversity of the human family and their students. When we cast our teachers, we look for a diverse range. 
cómo se ayuda. La abeja toma el néctar de la flor. Ages, personalities, cultures, backgrounds. We want your child to be able to see themselves in the teacher. We want them to be able to connect and have a role model that reminds them of their own unique qualities and characteristics to show that there's a place for everyone in this world. Vamos dar uma olhada nesse vídeo. Uau! Você não daria tão perto de um tubarão assim? Parece bem perigoso. Mas o tubarão tigre não machuca esses peixes agora. While the platform will launch initially in English, the production process and delivery systems are fully compatible with future releases in other languages. In this and other ways, American Heritage Worldwide is actively exploring opportunities to broaden its reach. For example, at the end of each lesson, students are invited to relate what they have learned in the lesson to their own lives and faith traditions. When we make these critical connections to faith and principles and character, we're not going to produce that content. We're going to design the tool and build the tool that enables a family or a parent or a religious leader of any faith to make those kinds of connections. We could create a Muslim version or a Jewish version of content, but it wouldn't be nearly as good as a Muslim man or a Jewish woman creating the content for their faith and for their families and for those children. In this way, students become more deeply connected to their own faith and to people of faith throughout the world. Perhaps most importantly, the new platform connects parents with their children. Well, I am so excited about Lift Ed, this learning experience platform, and particularly one aspect of it. It's called the Golden Envelope. The technology knows when a child is coming up on a certain lesson plan, and so it notifies relatives wherever those relatives may be in the world. When an aunt or an uncle or a grandfather or a grandmother receives this text, they can contribute to the child's lesson plan by recording a short video. Then they push a button and the software inserts that family member's story, their history, their narrative into the child's curriculum. And they'll be able to make that really deep connection and see how does my grandmother feel about this principle and this concept? And how does this story relate to me in my life? It's really taking this platform to a whole new level by allowing parents and families to stay connected with their children in this digital space. You know, education is inaccessible to too many people around the world, especially in developing nations like Africa and Asia and South America. And this technology will lower the barrier to entry for students because it reduces the cost of producing teachers. It suddenly crowdsources teachers from families. And this technology is widely available even in developing nations. This can work and it will work. It needs to work for the sake of the rising generation. Similarly, videos submitted by a student during a lesson are made available to parents and other family members. So a parent picks up their child from school and the question they normally ask is, how is school? The child will often respond with just a one word answer, good, which doesn't tell the parent anything. And in the classroom, the student is having a lot of aha moments. They're having moments where their curiosity is sparked. They feel enlightened when they finally understand a concept. And the parent is not around for those moments. At American Heritage Worldwide, the parent can be around for those moments. They can watch the videos that the student made during their lesson. They get a text message or an email that tells them specifically what their child learned that day. So they can ask questions that relates to that material specifically and start conversations about that child's opinion. This can change a parent's feeling about their child forever. They can see their divine qualities, the things that make them unique, the reasons why they were put on this world. And it's not something that's happening behind closed doors in a school. It's something that's happening right in front of them in their home. As foreseen by the school's founders, as the new Lift Ed platform connects students, it will also connect families. Already in many areas of the U.S., Parents from multiple families are working together and meeting together to enrich their children's education. 
we gathered every week and we had activities planned and every six weeks we would have a bigger activity where we'd invite the dads to do it with us, you know, a dinner and a celebration and it was beautiful. It just became our community now. It's a community of sharing. It's nice to have a support system with individuals who are very diverse, um, but they have the same values that I have. The biggest blessing I think is the associations that my children have with with the other children. Growing up, I, I was never a very social child, but my children are, and they need connection. They need people to be with. It's been especially significant to watch my older children appreciate these friends, these friends who are like-minded and who are experiencing similar things. You know who your kids' friends are. You know who your kids' friends' parents are because they're your friends too. And so you have this, just this tight-knit group where the older kids love the little kids, the parents know your children, you know, it, you just have this really tight community. When groups of families come together to support each other, we call that a family education center because it's just that, groups of families, right? Getting together to support each other, providing in-person learning and connection. Families supporting families is ideal. Where enrollment in traditional public and private schools is impossible, impractical, or even undesirable. And it's a solution easily tailored to the needs and circumstances of participating families. Family education centers will take on many forms. Uh, some of them will be small cooperatives. Uh, some of them will look more like little micro schools. Uh, what's important is that uh, they have the autonomy to grow and to develop. They have the support from a school. Uh, like American Heritage School uh, and that they're gathering together and supporting each other wherever they're at in the world. In addition to American Heritage's basic curriculum, Lift Ed can also provide families with lessons in specialized subjects like family life, work and entrepreneurship, budgeting and finance, and even human rights. Lift Ed will not just attract families and students, it will also attract great content providers. We don't have to produce all the content. We just have to create a platform that allows content providers to take their life work in many cases and give them a platform on which they can have more impact. With a robust content offering, American Heritage Worldwide will naturally become a feeder to local and online post-secondary educational programs, opening the door for children to pursue occupational and higher education and the rewards of lifelong learning. It was a modest beginning in that small vacated chapel. 30 years later, the school's move to a new campus in American Fork was nothing short of a quantum leap. A leap that is occurring once again. From several hundred students on campuses in Utah to students and families throughout the world, that seed planted in 1970 is rising to become a magnificent tree. One of the things that excites me about the vision and mission of the school is that it's intended not just for the United States, but for families in continents across the globe, Africa, South America, Asia, Europe, even the things that we're doing, like the upcoming construction of our Performing Arts and Broadcast Media Center. That last part, Broadcast Media, acknowledges that we have a message that needs to be magnified. Magnified through music, through performing arts, through curriculum that we record and broadcast to the internet for families all over the world. Our mission is like a tree and the light of God is what illuminates this work. And the tree and that light reflect themselves and their goodness upon the child who sits beneath it. That's why we're doing what we're doing. God loves all of his children. And if we can change even one child through the shade of this tree and the light of God coming through its branches, that child will change her home. Her home and her family will change the community. That community will change the nation, and that nation change can change the world. That's 
how we change the world through the mission of American Heritage School. That which is of God is light. And here, at American Heritage School, we seek His light every day. I think especially as I've begun to mature and grow older, I've begun to see the importance of light in my life. And I think it is especially because of this school that I've been helped been guided and directed to seek that light always and see it in everything. One of the things that impressed us tremendously is how much they want to make the gospel come alive in the lives of the students. American Heritage School assists parents in developing the hearts, minds, and bodies of students to realize their divine potential. Here. We nourish God's light within us by building Christ-like character, pursuing excellence in scholarship, and learning to appreciate the blessings of liberty and freedom. The families that come here are looking for something, something more, something different. Having been to other private schools and even having like job offers at other schools, the difference was the principles of liberty for sure in this, at this school. That this idea of self-governance, this idea of Christ-like attributes, because we know that the gospel isn't something that's just a spiritual aspect. It, it is completely intertwined. I think just being at a place where teachers and students can talk very openly about what it is that we're doing here. And by, when I say here, I mean like our, our lives, right? The focus is on uh, how is this gonna help me with my life? How is this gonna help me become the person that I wanna be? I think, I think that's the main difference. What we're really trying to do is to instill in these youth the ability to discover a Christ-like character. The whole point of this is that truth is truth and what our youth, our students are here to discover is truth. As we learn the truth, we begin to discover the light within us. People often mention the light that you see in the eyes of the kids here. And to me, that's the way life's supposed to be. Everyone deserves to have that light in their eyes. They deserve to feel valued and they deserve to have the light of the gospel as a core element of their lives every single day. Light comes from truth, and that truth starts in the home. American Heritage represents a unique partnership, one where parents and teachers join together to fan the flames of faith and learning. I feel like this school is an extension of our home and what we're trying to do in our home with our children. We are just simply trying to complement what's already happening in the homes. And so that partnership is critical and crucial to our success. And so we feel that weight of responsibility. In Japan, we never involved the school staff. Never. We can even go see what they're doing, you know, at school. So we have no idea what, what's going on there, but here we can, you know, join with them, you know, involve them. I really love it. We are primarily responsible for educating our children. And at the school, they support the families in doing that. It's not the other way around. And as teachers work in partnership with parents, confidence grows and the light burns brighter still. 
I love the, the atmosphere and the relationship I have with my teachers. I, I consider most of them my friends. It just makes me very grateful for the things that are said to me and the things that are taught and the teachers. They, they care individually about each one of their students. It feels like they care, if that makes sense. And that makes me want to care more about what I do in my work. It's not just a job to them, that to them it's really about making a difference and helping the children achieve their, their potential. You can breathe and you can, you can trust. trust, okay, this is a place where I want my children because, I don't know, it just feels right and it's hard to find that. Because of the gospel and their testimonies of the gospel, I feel that the teachers can teach the kids what their divine potential is and they show that love and that's like for me as a mom that's like the biggest thing I just want my kids to feel loved. As I've come to American Heritage I have seen light. I've seen so much light in people and in myself and as I've watched that light grow within me I I have desired to share that life with others. I think this, this idea that um, the families that come here are strengthened and then go out and lift other people is, is really obvious and it's beautiful. This is a light not just to be used for yourself, but as the Savior taught us, to share the light with other people, to help give the glory to God. And it's wonderful to see them go from the receivers of light to starting to be the sharers of life. We really do want to help not just educate a small number of students, but to provide that same light to everyone. You don't have to come to this school. You don't have to be a part of this little community, but if you are and you have that confidence, it's so much easier to share that light in really bright ways. It's true. That which is of God is light. And he that receiveth that light and continueth in God receiveth more light. And that light groweth brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Oh boy, now what do you do? How do you care for this child? Well, you provide for the physical needs, of course. But how do you nurture the mind and the spirit? What will you teach her? Over millennia, experience and divine inspiration have provided the answers. Love her. Surround him with light and truth, and he will thrive. Experience and divine instruction have also taught us we do better when we help each other. So, we formed families, we built churches, and we opened schools. When family, faith, and the school come together to love the child and teach comprehensive truth, something truly transformational happens. We founded the school in 1970, and of course the spark plugs were Verlin and Shirley Anderson, and Verlin uh, uh, kept talking to me and convinced me, so finally I got involved, and I was one of the founders. I loaned the money to the school to buy the property, the building where we first had school over in Pleasant Grove. It was a very, very humble beginning. We was really scratching financially. When I think about the school that I grew up in, that, that old church building, and we all recognize this was not a fancy school that we went to in terms of how it looked, but the inner core was so deep and good. 
and it felt like we offered our five loaves and two fishes. This is my grandparents and those who gave so much, and God expanded it. He blessed it. It is unbelievable, I think, to those of us who remember sitting in those little green benches and our little tiny offering and watching how it has expanded. How could we say enough thanks for generous people who had a vision for what could be? Every time I come on campus, I look at this beautiful 40-acre campus. This didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of a lot of work. I think now we're up to seven or eight different transactions for land acquisition to put 40 contiguous acres together. That's remarkable. That's remarkable. And there's no question in my mind that this school has a future and that we've been blessed because Heavenly Father loves His children and he needs a generation of children who have a special education. That's American Heritage. This school has allowed me to create a relationship with God and to figure out who I am. It has given me that, that confidence through the things I've learned and done here um, to be able to make real change in myself, in my family, in my community, and hopefully someday in the world. I smile when I think about student conversations where I am enlightened by them, where, and that happens all throughout the year where I'm just so inspired by things that they share, personal experiences or stories that just impact me. Being here allows me to be involved in the youth and athletics in an amazing facility um, and be surrounded by you know, a, a group of students that are, that are really special. And being able to not only share my love of athletics with them, but what's most important to me is my testimony. I love the values that it teaches, I love the, the way that it helps our children to think about current affairs and the world that they're growing up in, to understand it, to understand sometimes the fallacies of, of, of the arguments of, in society that, that they're surrounded with. Um, I love that. I love the basis of the Constitution and, uh, and, and the, the founding of this country. And, and how that's an emphasis and, and how the kids come away with an understanding and a real appreciation for that. The biggest thing for us was that we were looking for a place where the, what we taught at home could be supported and amplified and reinforced by what the kids were learning at school. It's been a huge impact. I mean, our, our children are, are very different people now than they would have been otherwise. There is nothing more precious than a soul, a son or daughter of God. And there's nothing more important. How can they know unless we teach them so? How can they know the path that leads to happiness unless we teach them so? So what's next? Where do we go from here? We continue to expand our American Fork campus. We are opening a new Salt Lake City campus in the fall of 2022. And our online programs continue to add more courses and products to meet the needs of thousands of existing and future students across the globe. In all we do, we will stay true to our mission to help parents worldwide to develop the hearts, minds, and bodies of students to realize their divine potential. In short, it's all about spreading more light.